Hello everybody, welcome to lecture 13 of our course Computing Ethics and Society. This is the last lecture of chapter 4 Intellectual Property and we are gonna discuss the topic of patents for innovations in software. Patent decisions, confusion and consequences. Why patent? Patents protect inventions by giving the inventor a monopoly for a specified time period. Laws of nature and mathematical formulas cannot be patented. A voice, inventions, or methods cannot be patented. Using patented innovation or process requires permission from the patent holder even if uh, another inventor independently came up with the same idea or invention business routinely pay license fees to use patented innovations in their product these are some cases regarding patent the first case talks about Paul Allen, the co-founder of Microsoft and e-commerce and web viewing. Paul Allen sued several companies such as Google, Facebook, Apple, eBay, Netflix and others for violating for early patents to now widely used e-commerce and web viewing features. A judge dismissed the suit in 2011 where the patent office reconsiders the patent. The second case regarding Apple Android and Tap Touch screens. Apple won a patent case against a maker of Android phones. It covers technology that allows a user to tap a screen to perform various tasks. The third case regarding IBM, Amazon and electronic catalogs. IBM sued Amazon for violating a patent on electronic uh, catalogs that covers uh, targeting advertising and uh, recommending a specific products to a customer. Eventually, Amazon agreed to pay IBM a licensing fee. Now, we're gonna talk about uh, patent licensing firms. These firms or companies accumulate thousands of technology patents but do not make any product. They license the patents to others and collect fees. Some patent licensing firms make all or a significant part of their income by suing other companies for patent infringement for hardware as well as software. Some see the existence of patent licensing firms an indication to serious flaw in the patent system. On the other hand, some innovators have neither the skills nor the desire to market their innovations and negotiate contracts. In a highly specialized economy, the existence of firms that buy and license patent is not itself a negative thing. Now, to patent or not, do you agree? Software patent or disagree? There is two opinion about that. In favor of software patents, reward inventors for their creative work. This is advantage. Encourage inventors to disclose their inventions so others can build up on them. 
also encourage the invention. On the other hand, against software patents. Patents can stifle innovation rather than encourage it. Cost of lawyers to research patents and risk of being sued this courage small companies for attempting to develop and market new innovations. It is difficult to determine what is truly original and distinguish a patentable innovation from one that is not. For the software patent, many computer scientists see all algorithms as mathematical formulas which cannot be patent. So we reach to the end of this lecture and see you in the next lecture. Goodbye.